Dinner is served. Delish. Hi, I'm Arlen the Pigeon King, and I'm making fowl into good fare. Tell me what Pigeon King International is. We're setting up a network of breeding flocks all over North America, and then we're going to ship pigeons for human consumption all over the world. What is it that made you into a Pigeon King? Ambition, a vision, a passion for what I do. That's probably number one. How many pigeons do you have at the moment? I have several thousand. I don't give out specific numbers, exact numbers of how many I have. I can tell you it's many thousands. You call your bird? The Strathclyde Genetics. It's like a, sort of like a brand name. Sort of like, you know, Campbell Soup, Strathclyde Pigeons. How many pigeons are going to be in here? Oh, around 10,000, give or take 1,000. They really kick up a wind. <laughs> These pigeons are all on their way out to breeders. That's correct. The ones that don't die before they go out. What's the overhead like for, you know, a, a, a pigeon hotel? There's an investment to be made, but the return on that vet investment is pretty rapid. Arlen, I, I, uh, I have to ask you a personal question. Is there a market right now for squab? That's not a personal question. No, it's not, but it's, it affects you quite personally. <laughs> yes, there is. There's a huge demand for squab at reasonable prices. Tell me what makes these pigeons different than the pigeons I see on the street. These birds are refined. What do they taste like? They have a flavor like blackberries. Oh, Jesus, I'm so sorry. Quick now, quick. Oh, yes! There. Okay. <laughs> do they bite? No, 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 no. Pigeon is best eaten at about... What? Four weeks. It's a delicacy, really. Why should people breed pigeons? Because it's uh, very enjoyable, very profitable and therapeutic, and what more do you want? Release the birds. Woo! <laughs>